Hello, I am back with another video. In today's video, I will talk about Scotty Bowers, the Hollywood pimp slash escort. But before I dive in, please comment and like this video. Also share and subscribe so I can keep making videos for you guys. Thanks. Who was Scotty Bowers? Scotty Bowers was an American Marine from the 1940s and to the 1980s, a Hollywood pimp. Stories of his exploits circulated for many years and were alluded to in books such as Hollywood Babylon at Full Service. Scotty Bowers was born in Ottawa, Illinois, and he grew up on a farm with a younger sister and an older brother. During his childhood, he was sexually abused by a married man who was a neighbor. He was completely okay with it and didn't see it as child abuse. During the Depression era, he grew up hungry and in order to eat, he turned tricks for two dozen Chicago priests who paid him in quarters. After working his way through the Depression in Chicago, he fought in the Pacific, including at the Battle of Iwo Jima, as a paramarine in the Marine Corps during World War II. Losing his brother and two close friends, after he left the Marine, he started to work in a gas station as an attendant at the Richfield Oil. The gas station was located at Hollywood Boulevard at the corner of Van Ness Avenue. That's when his sexual career began in 1946 at the gas station. His first sexual encounter with a celebrity named Walter Pigeon. Walter pulled up to the gas station and asked him to ride with him. That afternoon, they had sexual intercourse and that incident changed his life. Walter told every celebrity about him and more celebrities started to request him for sexual favors. He started to make $20 per section. The more requests he got, the more his business grew. Soon he was having sex in park trailers with two king beds. He was also providing services in the bathroom, like glory holes. He started to pair up his marine members with celebrities. He also had his sexual intercourse with Cary Grant and later paired him with an unknown actor at the time, named Rock Hudson. He also claimed he had a threesome with Cary Grant and Randolph Scott. Scott also claims that he introduced Catherine Hepburn with 150 women. Catherine liked her women to be brunettes and she would only see them twice and get tired of them. Scotty also claims that he introduced Catherine to a 17-year-old girl named Barbara. Catherine grew very fond of her and brought her gifts, such as a two-tone Ford Fairlane. Catherine had an on-and-off relationship with her for 49 years. He also had a sexual encounter with Spencer Tracy. One day, Spencer asks Scotty to come to his home to fix his water heater. Tracy was heavily drunk and came on to him, and they led to them having sex. He continued to see him, but most of the time, he was drunk in a rack. Scotty claimed that Spencer Tracy was a closeted bisexual. Scotty also said that Spencer and Catherine's relationship was a total sham and that Catherine was a lesbian. Their publicist decided that it would be best to tell the public that they are having an affair. It is forgivable for heterosexuals to have affairs then to be gay because being gay at the time would tarnish their career. He also mentioned Anthony Perkins and how he was secretly gay and married. Scotty stated that he always wanted different partners every day and he would hook him up. He also talked about George Cukor and how they will have a sexual escapade together. He claims it was just oral sex and nothing more. He also had oral sex with Cole Porter who was a music composer for Kiss Me, Kate. Scotty said he would bring three Marines with him to his house and Cole will offer oral sex to each of them. When Cole had dinner parties, he would ask Scotty to bring visitors and it would lead to one big orgy. Another actor that Scotty encountered was Charles Lafton. He stated that he was at Lafton's house and he requested that he poo in a pot and he would use the feces and spread it on a bread and make a sandwich and eat it. Scotty also stated that Greta Garbo and Mercedes de Acosta had an affair. He also stated that Rock Hudson's wife, Phyllis Gates, was a lesbian, and she loved her women to be dark-haired, slim and young. He also stated that the actor Tyrone Power was bisexual, and he actually preferred men better. Scotty also stated that he had a menage a with Tyrone Power and a random girl even though he was married. He mentions that Coral Brown was a lesbian, and he would pair her up with lots of women. Scotty was sleeping with Vincent Price when Vincent and Coral were a couple. He also provided services to Peter Bull, who had a teddy bear fetish. He said he would have them on the bed when they have sex together. In his book, he stated that Ramon Navarro loved oral sex so much that he referred Seema as honey. Ramon will call Scotty and ask him for honey and for him to bring in five guys for sex. Ramon would sleep with each one of them until they couldn't ejaculate anymore, and then he moved on to the next one. In full service, Scotty provided services to Tennessee Williams, who was grieving over her lover, Frank Merlo. Once they got to know each other, he said that Tennessee was a very horny guy. Scotty said that he provided oral sex to Noel Coward, and he would take him to the Caribbean and Tahiti. He stated that he would do weird things, for example, at parties he would make drinks for everyone, and he would stir the drink with his penis. He also stated that he had a sex with J. Edgar Hoover while he was in drag. He also claims that he arranged trysts for King Edward and his wife, Wallace Simpson. He said that Edward loved to see guys and girls together and he would join them. 
He also said that at Frank Sinatra's home, he had a threesome with Ava Gardner and Lana Turner. He also said he slept with Vivian Lee, Merv Griffin, Bette Davis, and Lawrence Olivier. In 1950, he stopped working at the gas station and started working as a party bartender, while still providing service to high-profile celebrities. He stated that Dizzy Arntz would come to him for matchmaking services. Debbie Reynolds would ask Scotty to host her parties. He left because it was becoming every popular, and it would draw a lot of attention from police, since during that era, homosexuality was illegal. One day, he was stopped by a cop, and he was interrogated by the cop and other plans he decided to sexually molest him. At that time, he shared a home with his longtime partner, Betty, but he was never there and always in somebody else's bed. He also lost his daughter, Donna, from a botched abortion. He also met Dr. Alfred Kinsey, who was a sex therapist, and he wanted to interview him for a study on human sexuality. He checks off every list of sexual activities he was involved in, and he also showed Dr. Alfred Kinsey where orgies were held. Many celebrities had to remain in the closet because of the fear of losing their career. In their contract, they had a clause forbidding actors from committing any offense that risked public hatred, contempt, or ridicule. If they wanted to maintain their fame, LGBT actors had to marry the opposite sex, and it was called lavender marriage. These marriages were arranged by Hollywood studios between one or more gay, lesbian, or bisexual people in order to hide their sexual orientation from the public. And if they refuse, their salaries are discontinued from the studio, and the sad part is that the clauses still exist in 2022. An example of lavender marriage will be Rudolph Valentino and Gene Acker. Some say that he was gay and she was a lesbian, so the studio pairs them up to save their reputation. In the 70s, he stayed relevant by working with Linda Lovelace and had her give deep-throating instructions to clients at parties. He was still providing services for people, including a client with no arms and legs. In the 80s, he completely stopped due to the AIDS epidemic, and he married a woman named Lisa Bowers. In his own words, he stated he never accepted money for arranging sexual encounters with celebrities, but only when he provided sex himself. Even though he was bisexual, he preferred to be with women instead of men. In 2012, he decided to write a tell-all book exposing the sex life of Golden Age celebrities and named the book Full Service. He received a lot of backlash because people were angry that he exposed their truth, and they are not alive to defend themselves. People also stated that the book is filled with lies and it never happened. Some people believed him and supported his claims. He had made an impact on old Hollywood that Golden Age celebrities have written love letters about him. For example, Tennessee Williams has written a 40-page story dedicated to him. Beach Dickerson willed three houses to him and Nestor Almendros bequeathed him his Oscar. He also got his own documentary called Scott and the Secret History of Hollywood. He kept silent for years because he didn't want to hurt these celebrities, but he had a change of heart and decided to write the book because they are deceased. In 2018, his wife Lois died and in 2019, Scotty Bowers passed away due to kidney failure. I believe that Scotty lived the life that he wanted to live and he enjoyed every moment of it. He didn't have any regrets whatsoever. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and also share and leave a comment if you believe that what he said about these celebrities are true. Bye. See you soon.